So he was once dubbed the most boring man in sport, pretty much by himself, to yeah, be fair. Yeah. And you may not then expect six-time snooker world champion Steve Davis to be dabbling in a psychedelic prog rock band. Well, he is. And it, the band is called the Utopia Strong. And it's in this experimental phase, we understand. Well, we caught up with him because he played a gig in Norwich. <laughs> The music thing's a hobby that's got out completely out of control. There was never a plan when I retired from snooker that that was going to be the, the route I went down. The only thing is that I suppose if you've got the chance for your hobby to become you know, a bit more than just a hobby, um, then it, it was always going to be music for me. The modular synthesizer is a, a fascinating musical instrument. The better you are on a modular synthesizer, the more of the, the onion you've peeled off to get to the next layer, and then you learn another layer beneath that. Obviously, live, you need to make sure you turn the right button on. <laughs> we'll know which key we're going to start in, and we'll know roughly sort of which BPM it is, and we'll sort of have, I suppose, a sense of what we would like to happen over the course of, say, 20 minutes. But it's, it's never the same each night. Steve will suggest a bass line and not, maybe I'll play it, or Michael suggests something and Steve will play it. So we're all, we're all suggesting each other's parts. Steve's amazing thing is he has bat ears, so he can, hear, he can hear when bass drums are out of tune or cymbals are out of tune and things like that. That's it. The world snooker champion, 1981, Steve Davis. When I go to the World Championship, which is not coming up pretty soon, uh, which is look, really looking forward to that, um, it's all eyes down for snooker, so nobody's really asking me questions about the music world. But I'm not sure they really uh, um, know what's going on, so I think they just think, you know, I might, have, I might have lost the plot a bit, which is quite funny. I actually really liked it. It's... Well, I said it was like an alien landing, <laughs> like a spaceship landing. The feeling is a kind of really surreal thing that yeah. doesn't can't really get with much else. Yeah. You know? Kind of the way the synths and the guitar kind of mesh together, it's sick. Yeah. I think we're mapping out the uh, architecture of eternity, is how I'd describe it, yeah. Steve has suddenly become very, very interesting. Send you into a bit of a trance. It send you into yeah, a trance. Yeah, floating. Yeah, it? <laughs> it's brilliant.